and he needs a convincing win to get his momentum back. If he barely slides by, I feel like it's not even good enough. He needs to crush Classic in this game. He's talked to his coach. He's got to get himself pulled back together. This Classic doesn't even look like he's phased at all. He's just ready to win this and go home and practice he's just for the round four. Up, man. Yeah, exactly. He's just looking like, I'm not even breaking a sweat now. And y'all already looking very negative. All right, guys, let's go into this. It could be the last game of this first best of five. The top left in blue, down 0-2 in this series, it's Bjell. A rough start. The Shrek player, the Lost Zerg. And up here in the top right, we do have this dominating Protoss classic. Looking insane, looking way too good, making his race look way too overpowered. Well, doing thousands of resources of damage without taking a single loss in both games. And uh, he looks poised to try another Forge opening here. Yeah, not a bad choice in this map. You know, it is a pretty hard map to get a third base on. Classic might be looking to get some alternatives here. He might actually have to step out of that comfort zone of going for that easy third and maybe be a little bit more aggressive. Biol does not look happy. Just looking at his player shot here. You can see a bit of frustration on his face. I'm worried for him. Yeah, okay. I mean, there's some two pretty perfect games from Classic. Yeah. That's got to be frustrating, yeah. going into game three, down two games. You should be pretty poised to win this game. It is going to be favored for the Zerg player, so long as he doesn't slip up. But Classic has been finding a way so far. All right. Here comes that probe. And Overlord sees it, but he doesn't have any drones down here. Well, let's see. Looks like he Here might make come. a move. Four drones coming down. Ooh. Good control on the probe. He's not sending a second one, so I highly doubt he's going to actually commit to this. Well, well, the drones have to be committed. Let's have a look here. Yeah, it doesn't look like he'll commit to it. He oh. leaves the pylon this time, which is going to force more drones to actually stick around. Yeah. Oh, look at that. Six drones coming down. Think about this. Every few seconds, every about three seconds, he loses five minerals times six. The six drones down here. 30 oh, minerals. Wow. That's 30 minerals straight up. Four times that's more than the pylon. Any times more than that, any more trips he's missing, just starts to get out of control. Yeah, so ready. Classic, and you're doing a little bit of economic damage. I'm surprised six stones went down, actually. He really panicked when he saw that pylon finish this time. It's yeah. Like, are you actually committing to this? Like, well, it's kind of scary. This is one of the, the problems of being down two in a series, too. It's like, if something goes wrong, it's like, that's it. You lose, you, you die to a out. cannon. That's it. I'm out of this tournament. Mm. It's it's scary. Uh, I mean, I don't care how many games Bjell's played. He's still human. Like. He's gonna, you know, feel some emotions in this moment, right? And panic, or maybe slightly more, like two percent more than usual, perhaps even. Well, I, judging by his face, I'd say about, you know, sixty percent more than usual, yeah. man. Like he's, he's gotten beaten down pretty brutally. He's a bit tilted here. Oh yeah. Well, I think Classic might just go for the exact same style, you know, going for that Stargate pretty early on after the Cybercore. Apply the pressure. He might be able to mix it up. He might want to mix it up. But he doesn't have to. Just a bit harder on this map to get for that third base, which is the big problem of all. And the one he's got to get is kind of the middle base, which makes things pretty awkward. Even harder than, than the side base that we just saw Bjell take. Wouldn't it be crazy if, if Classic just like added a robo and did and did like a sentry into a mortal push? <laughs> he, he almost never does that. Yeah, that would be really out of character, but... This probe is going to get spotted to the bottom. It doesn't look like he was going to hide anything. He's probably just waiting to go scout a third, but yeah, unfortunately, he's uh, going to get scouted. Good uh, good pattern here by uh, Biel on this link. Oh, Ooh, is he sneak by? Oh, he didn't pay attention. He's going to get out of there. It was in his vision range, but not in the attack range. Yeah. And that's a stargate coming up once again for Classic. So he's staying true to it. 
If it ain't broke, don't fix it. No. And this uh, this probe will actually go scout the third base. Nothing Bill can do about it. You get a second vision of the probe, but there's nothing you can do there to change that. Now that Ling that was not paying attention before is going to try to go get the job done. Hmm. He sees the exact timing of the third base and knows it's about to finish. Yeah, he knows it's a, essentially just a very standard game right now. Uh, you know, third is usually the, at this time, is, is pretty stuck standard against the forward fast expand. So he's like, okay, this is what I'm up against. I understand. We're actually seeing a Phoenix opening. Yeah. Interesting. And he's going to continue making those, not just like faking this. No. This can still do a lot of damage, can still do a lot of economic damage as well. And maybe he's not going to be going for that fast third base. Maybe his plan is something a little bit more uh, two base oriented, maybe some sort of timing behind this. Yeah, once he clears up the overlords, once he clears up those scouts. And uh, Fiel actually. Losing these overlords is going to be a bit annoying for him. He's, he's not going to know what the follow-up is. He does have a Ling, very importantly, uh, to that third base location, so he can know, okay, are you taking a third right now? Spores are going up. Evolution Chambers as well. Yeah, double Evo Chamber. This leads me to believe 1-1 one, one Ling's this early on. You don't really see that for anything else at this time. A second Stargate Moonblade. Oh, and there we go. 1-1 one, one Ling's going to be the answer to the uh, Phoenix opening. Looks like he's just going to go heavy Phoenix. Yeah, it looks like it, doesn't it? To really invest. He could just be going for hard Sky Toss. I, I'm not sure. That'd be kind of strange there. Well, you know, usually if you go for that, you do it once you're, you've got that third base secured, or you do it on a base where there's like an island you've taken. Yeah, plus one weapons on the way for the air units as well. Yeah, normally you want to do it on a map where you can secure a very easy third base, so you can get critical mass of these, uh, of these Void Rays and whatever else you want to go in the air. So... It's kind of surprising it is on this map, but it's, it's definitely going to catch Bial out. Yeah. Uh, I, I don't think he's going to be expecting this at all. This early Phoenix count right here. Actually start maybe trying to catch off some stray overlords. Good positioning by Bial. He's going to lose some drones, though, on the edge. Looks like just one. He's got to be careful with those stray overlords. He can't have any of those poking out. Hmm. And behind this, you know, he, if he just keeps banking these, doesn't actually show them for a while, and you know, goes perhaps into charge behind this. He's going to have such a scary army to uh, really surprise anything that comes on the ground. Like if we do see like a Ling Hydra timing from Bialo or something, like it could just get completely dominated. So look at this. Look how many Lings there are. Yeah, so many. And actually, the sentries are a bit exposed. He's going to have to do a perfect force field here at the natural. And oh, wow. mm, that wasn't quite it. That wasn't quite perfect. Going to lose a sentry, but still cleans up all the Lings. Yeah, well, these are plus one zealots as well. So you, the, the hope there. There really isn't any hope until 1-1 one -one finishes. Then he can actually yeah. trade with it really nicely. For some reason, I was under the impression that 1-1 one -one was already finished. But yeah, moments away. Yeah. About 10 more seconds, and it will be done. That Zealot puts on a hold position there just in time. Those links can't get through. and Still not enough links here currently to, to deal with this many Zealots. He's committed so much to links. Uh, and look at the, the worker count, even. Classic is ahead. Now, he doesn't have three base saturation, which is a big problem. Uh, he's working on that. The links have been doing their job, and that they haven't been able to deny this Nexus from starting. Yeah, for now. Look at that. He's got a ton of links over here. If he runs it right now, he should be able to get that canceled. Easily. There's no sentries here. Well, there's two, but they, they've used a lot of energy. Oh, it doesn't cancel. Wow. Big mistake. Okay. This be all starting to get some momentum back in this game. Yeah, he was not expecting plus 1-1 uh, links. And that's so many links out on the map now. This should be enough to trade with these zealots if they get a good surround. Yeah, he's just waiting for that opportunity. He's trying to force it. And really, I think he doesn't want to trade until like he gets an opportunity like this where he can get a little bit of this around, mm -hmm. or until he can force a fight where he's forcing that Nexus to get canceled down. Yeah, he's he essentially ignored these Phoenixes. Yeah, essentially. And there we go. <laughs> so many more coming across the map. Wouldn't it be interesting if we saw Classic actually just commit to a fight? He's just like, well, I'm just going to march across the map with as many Zealots I can make with these Phoenix and try and just end it here and there. So that's like enough Phoenix to actually get rid of a lot of Lings well, as well. This uh, many Phoenixes can just literally ignore the spores. If he micros them once they get red, he can kill every single Overlord. Every single one. He's going to go for drones instead. He can get everything, actually everything here. He can literally kill everything if he just pulls back the weakened Phoenixes once they get red from the spore. Yeah, he's lost a couple so far. Looks like he's willing to trade it for the entire Mineral Line plus every Overlord there. GG! Whoa! Okay. Yo, is tilted, man. Wow. He was not happy. He's not happy with that, man. I can't believe that. What? Uh, I can't. I mean, yeah, he was significantly behind. He was going to have to remake a lot of Overlords, but he had denied that third base for so long. I feel like he still had a chance, a small chance, but a chance.
Yeah. Was your tournament life's on the line. You just type out. He he definitely folded pretty pretty early there. That was definitely like a tilted, like a GG. He should have played it out. Just you know, try and play his best and come back into it. But he, to be fair, he did lose that entire base uh, in mining and in supply. The cool thing about this too is like when you go for a Phoenix build like this. It's really hard for Bill to see that you're hiding Phoenixes. Yeah. He has to just kind of figure it out on his own mm. because he can't scout because you have Phoenixes on the map. Mm. So you're just going to kill every Overlord you, you try to scout with. Yeah, and with that many Zealot Sentry, there was no real way that the Lings were going to continue to hold off this third base coming down while he was taking so much damage. He had a Spire coming up at home as well. That's not going to help. Was for Corruptors or something? Like, if he had committed to, like, a Roach Ling attack, that might have even given him a better chance to, to do more damage. Yeah, it looked like he wanted to go for a big Muter Corruptor sort of a, a style, uh, and he was under the impression that it was a one Stargate Phoenix, you know, five Phoenix into a transition, but it never happened like that. And Classic just made like the right build and got that build order win essentially. So that was essentially a flawless uh, PVC best of five from Classic.